All right, welcome to problem three from the H10-4 homework. The directions state, find the sum of the arithmetic series described below. And you see we have this in summation notation or sigma notation. Um, what this is saying to us here is we're finding the sum. Anytime you see this, that means you're finding the sum of something. So we're going to find the sum from the first term to the 20th term of the series that's generated using that rule right here. Okay, so we know that when we're, when we're trying to find the sum of a series, right, the things that we need to know, we need to know a sub one, we need to know a sub n, and we need to know the number of terms. So let's see if we can get that information here. So remember, this is just like our a sub n equation here, that expression there. So we can find the first term by taking this one and plugging it in to here. So they said if x is equal to one, well, we'd say, all right, well, um, a sub one then would be negative 23 plus four times one. And in this case here, negative 23 plus four is gonna give us a negative 19. So the first term in this series is gonna be negative 19. Now the 20th term is gonna end up being our last term, right? So we'll say a sub 20 is going to equal negative 23 plus four times 20. Four times 20 would be 80, so we have negative 23 plus 80, which I believe there should be positive 57. So our nth term is 57. And then we need to know the number of terms, okay? So when we look at this here, right, if we're starting at one and we're going to 20, we know that that is gonna be 20 terms there. But if the numbers don't match up, okay, there's another way to do it. And I'll actually show you that in problem four here. But we do know on this one that there are 20 terms in the series. If I took them and listed out, you know, all of them there, it'd be one, two, three, four. I get from one to 20 to be 20. Okay, so now that we have everything that we need there, we can go ahead here and find the sum of this. So we'll do the sum of n number of terms is going to equal the first term plus the nth term times half the number of terms. So in this case, since n is 20, we'll say the sum of the 20 terms in the series is gonna equal negative 19 plus 57 times 20 divided by two. Negative 19 plus 57 should be 38, if I can still do mental math. And we're gonna multiply that by 20 divided by two is 10. So our answer should end up being 380. And that is the sum of our first 20 terms Okay, so that would mean that this expression that we have up here equals, and actually I'm going to just kind of erase this off here, because this equals 380. That's it for problem number three from the H10-4 homework.